Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1066. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video, 1065, we used the sum ifs function to do month over month sales calculations. Add up the sales for each month and calculate the percentage change. This video, we're going to use a pivot table, and it's much easier than the formulas. Now, the formulas have their place because they update automatically if data changes, but watch this. Here's your transactional data set, dates and sales. I'm going to click in a single cell in this proper data set, go to Insert, Pivot Table, or I'm going to go Alt-NV. And I'm going to put it on a new sheet, so I'm simply going to hit Enter. And watch this. And my field list is way over here. So I'm going to drag this over here and watch this. We're going to drag the date down to the rows, come over here and right click Group. And I'm going to say by months. Now, I always click years, too, just in case there's a few dates from different years. And just like that, you can see the months. Now I'm going to drag the sales down to the values. Immediately, I'm going to go up to Design and click on Report Layout and say Show in Tabular. I'm going to right click, and I'm not going to point to Format Cells. I'm going to point to Number Formatting. When you're doing pivot tables, you want to access this Number Formatting to add Number Formatting to the Value Calculation. And I'm going to say Currency. Click OK. So there we have our calculation. Now watch this. To calculate the percentage change, you simply drag the sales down a second time. And now right click. And I'm going to say Show Values As. And there's a great percentage difference from the Show Values As calculation. Now it's going to be polite and ask me based off of what field, date. And I don't want it based off of January. That means all of these subsequent percentage calculations would be based off the change from each one of these from January. I don't want that. I want it from previous. So then I click OK. Wow, that is amazing. And that's quite a bit quicker and easier than the formulas in the last videos. The pivot tables are great. Formulas are too. All right, we'll see you next video.